Alright, hi there. I am Jay and this is your first pie charm tutorial. Hi, Pone, you just stupid. So, Python is actually a very, very diverse language in case you didn't know. Uh, I should probably have a more Python y situation happening instead of like two pretty cool hands. And anyway, this is this is Python, right? Uh, so, I think this tutorial would work perfectly fine if you just want to learn Python for fun or you know you're in a Python class and you have no clue what the teacher is saying then this tutorial should work fine for you. This is the basics of Python but if you already know stuff then probably not for you. But anyway, uh, so there's a couple of ways of running Python on your laptop and or computer or whatever and um, you could actually just download python directly from here and then you could get a shell uh, that that works pretty well but what i do is use something called pycharm and i actually had my laptop reset a few days back so i lost my pycharm which works perfectly good for us because now i can just download pycharm and create a video out of that yay all right, so this is the official site, jetbrains.com slash pycharm. It's an IDE. In case you don't know what an IDE is, it's an integrated development environment, which is basically where you can run and test your code. Okay, it, it's fun. It, this is that's what everybody uses. So it's a great thing to learn from it. And you don't really need the professional version. You can just use the community version. It works pretty well. Uh, of course, if you're trying to do something professional, you might want to go check it out, but that's paid for. But the com if you're just learning purposes, the community version will work fine. Alright, so that's downloading. I guess as you can see, it's almost like 50% done. And well, okay, while, while it's still downloading, I'm just going to tell you why you should probably consider learning Python. It's one of its... A more recent language as compared to maybe C++ and stuff like that. It's not really, uh, but it's got a lot of features and a lot of applications and um, it's pretty much in demand. It's very in demand right now. So a lot of people want to learn Python and it's got great features. It lets you connect to databases easily. It's got dynamic typing, which we will probably cover somewhere down the line. It's very easy to handle. And it doesn't have like, it, it's not like huge chunks of code or code that's difficult to remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure like if you do Python for like a while, it starts feeling like you're basically typing in English. It, it's actually that simple and that fun. Okay, it's here. Uh, yes, I do want it to make changes. Go ahead. The place I live, <coughs> it's got this huge garden situation happening in the back and my room is towards the back of the house. So like, and it's kind of like what, it's 8 p.m. while I'm recording this. So uh, <laughs> you get a lot of crickets and stuff just chirping in the background. The crickets chirp? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, yes. Create associations, update path variable, eh, sure, or don't, no one cares, I want a 64-bit launcher, yes, and open folder as project, yes, I would like that, we would need that eventually, probably not right now. But once you like start making stuff in Python, like what happens is once you write something, you want to start coding from scratch. You just download a few programs off of the internet, and then you can imagine which national thing of that. Did I just spend like five minutes explaining why you need an option to open something with Python? Yeah, I guess we got time to kill and all that. So we're gonna run a lot of yeah, just to run Python. Yes, finish easy.
One eternity later. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yes, I have totally read that and I totally accept everything of that. I have read it, honestly. Yes, totally. Send anonymous statistics. No thanks. Ooh, funky. It didn't. It didn't used to look like this like a month ago. <laughs> It looks funky now. I like it. I like the look. Ah oh my god, stop driving cars while I'm recording a video, please. This is such a cool look. Okay. Pie charm is starting. Come on. And now there's a train in the background. This is going great. So, um... I guess if you already have pre-existing projects, you can go ahead and open, but I don't. And I'm guessing if this is the first time you're using PyCharm or learning Python with me, then you don't either. So we're going to make a new project. And we're going to call it Crazy Codical Tutorials. Okay, uh, new in, yep, sure, base interpreter, yes, yes, do that for me, make available to all projects, today I don't have an interpreter, that's fine, main.py welcome script, yes, do that for me, do I want that, alright, go ahead, do it, wait, I got a python 3.8, so that looks pretty good to me, actually, uh, uh, 3.7 works too, 3.7 works pretty well, but 3.8 is great for now. Me likey. It's downloading 3.8. Oh my god, is all this? Sure. Okay, so uh, PyCharm has this thing where every time you open PyCharm, it shows you a tip of the day. So if you want one, go ahead and totally keep it. It's actually really fun to look at them but I, I don't need them so I'm just gonna don't show tips also it's creating a virtual environment we're almost there it's happening oh it's here got it this is a sample Python script. All right, so what I did was I got them to create a main.py for me, um, which is kind of why I have this whole thing happening, right? But in case you did not do that, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here, right? And you're gonna right click. And you're gonna do new, and you're gonna do Python file. And then you can just name it test.py. I mean, you don't have to do the py part. It's already a Python file. And there you have it. There's a test file. Great. You did it. So, this particular video, you learned how to install PyCharm. Just to make sure that this actually works, we're going to do the simplest program in the history of programs, which is print. Hello, Cody goes. I mean, you could do hello world, but that seems a little overrated, doesn't it? Let's do this. All right, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go here and you're going to do basically you go into the empty space and you right click and you do run file in Python console. And any second now, you should have it running in the Python console. Oh my god, will you just collapse? Just go away. Nobody wants you. Oh, come on. I don't even have firewalls. Just allow access, man. I mean, I do have firewalls. Everyone has firewalls, but you know what I mean. There it is. Hello, Cody Coast. See, and you know, once you've done this, once you've done this, you could just click on the run button here, and 
it will do your job. See, it's here, Hello Photo Yours. If you want to see more happen, you can do print J like spices. Not by tin, by time. And you could run that. And see it goes, hello for it goes, J likes bison. Yeah. Print. I want sandwiches. Alright, there you go. Hello, Cody goes. Jay likes Python and I want sandwiches. Alright, so you get the point. I'm just messing around at this point, but you get the point. So, today you got to install PyCharm and you got to learn how to use a print command to print stuff into your Python console. Next time, we will probably start to learn a little more of actual python you know do the actual coding stuff get into the business right but for today that's it hope you had a great time watching bye